Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this very exciting Mr. Meaty tutorial, I'm going to be showing you my secret sauce for beauty work. Now, this is pretty, pretty sweet stuff. So pay attention. It's super easy and it looks super high end. So here we have this great shot of Amber. I'm going to hit Alt Shift Z to zoom into pixel for pixel things so you can really see what's going on. And you can say she doesn't really need anything going on with her skin. Like she looks great. But, you know, when you're doing beauty work, you normally have, you know, a really pretty girl that you need to make look, you know like some sort of crazy thing from another universe. So here we've got Amber. And the first thing we're gonna do is, you know, just gonna do a quick little primary grade on here, just just cause we're here. So add a little bit of contrast, change the pivot around some and increase the saturation a bit. Cool. Now that's looking pretty good as just sort of a standard baseline grade hit shift Z to zoom out to the full thing. Then we're gonna add one node, and in this node, this is going to be um, our skin selection. So that's why we did our primary grade beforehand. It's just so it makes the selection a little bit easier. So go over here, click and drag, hit Shift H, so you can see what we're picking up, and nice. So it's looking pretty good. And you need to be super selective with your stuff here. Obviously, the more money you're getting paid, the better you should make your selections. Um, and that basically just means like if you're getting paid enough, use qualifiers along with keys, but you know, since it's just a little tutorial, we're being you know nice and cheeky with it. So just gonna refine the key a little bit, make it look good enough, and just sort of kill time until it's there. And we're just basically looking for some skin. Ha, there's definitely a joke in there to be had. All right, so now that is looking pretty good. We've got some other stuff out here, but that won't be a problem. We'll just blur it to heck, because these can be pretty nice and broad things, because they're, they're pretty subtle, so. Alt Shift Z, go back in, hit Shift H so we can see our whole thing. And you know, the first thing we're gonna do is just get our skin where we want it to be. So right now this is a little bit saturated for me. So we're gonna bring our saturation back down some and we're gonna increase the contrast some just because I love doing that so much. Shift Z, see the whole scene. So you can see, we're already making it a little bit nicer there. Let's bring our pivot down so it's a little brighter. And nice, let's increase the saturation before this. And then we'll need to fight that again in this node. If we were smarter, we would make these nodes a little bit different, but this is normally fine. All right, so now her skin's looking pretty bang on. And now we're gonna do the exciting part of the tutorial. So Alt Shift Z again, go back in. And I can see, once again, she looks great, but you know, maybe there's this little thing up here and just sort of general, she looks like a human being, so we need to make her look like some sort of crazy creature for another world. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of a bunch of this detail. We're gonna go over to our mid-tone detail and start bringing it down. And you can see, look at what a nice job this does of evening it out. If you wanna just go here, lots of times for smaller budget stuff, I just leave it at this and it looks fine. For smaller budget stuff and for people who really need a lot of work. But, so you can see before and after, it really smooths everything out, but it does it in a not distracting way. You know, that's pretty heavy handed right there. But you can see, you know, we're definitely getting somewhere. Now, if we want to bring some of this back, which we do, so let's go ahead and add an outside node and invert our key. So you can see right now, if we hit Shift H, we're getting the outside of the image, which we don't want. We want the inside. But there is no inside node option in DaVinci Resolve that I know of. So you just invert the key over here. And now, however you want to bring the detail back is up to you. Since what was happening before is a spatula change and not necessarily just a color change, the floating point in DaVinci Resolve will not bring this back when we bring our detail back. So it'll only give us the important details that we want, a lot like a frequency separation technique. And it probably is a frequency separation technique, let's be honest. Because um, the results end up looking a lot like that. So I normally just bring the midtone detail back a little bit and I'll get the eyes to pop out a little bit more and get our larger details happening. So you see, without it and with it, it brings stuff back. It makes it look like a human again, but just, you know, some sort of freak of nature that's like, super perfect. But you can also do that many other ways. Let's go ahead and just for me later on, we will go ahead and cascade these. And we'll do our same little thing. So bring our alpha output here. We will copy this node and paste and paste and control D, control D. Cool scenario, just work on this one. We will reset our midtone detail. Now, another way that you can do this is just add sharpening here. And this is a little bit chunkier sharpening, but you can see really fast, it brings out the details a lot. You, it can introduce a little bit of color noise, I've noticed. If you want to, you can reduce that some. 
but you can see just that fast. And I'll pop that in. Control D and Control D. You see, it really makes the small details pop out really nicely, a little bit better than the midtone detail did, which is over here. So you see the midtone details more. I said those midtone things. If you want to do them both on top of each other, you can, but you got to be really careful with sharpening. So you can really overdo it. And now the last one, which is how I normally do it, especially whenever we've got, you know, the time for it is add the sharpen effect. And now you get all these great controls. So you see bringing up the fine details that can you know go pretty hardcore, but just bring them up a little bit, bring the size way down. Cause I like to get those really sharp, bring the medium details up just a little bit. And I really like the large details, getting those a little bit out more. Bring the overall amount down just a little bit. And you can see really nice. It gets it back up and going good again. This one does bring stuff back a little bit more. So you might want to reduce the midtone detail even more on it. But, you know, for most people, just doing this midtone detail one works really well. So there you go. That is a super powerful, high-end, great technique that you should know how to do. Now you do know how to do. The only problem is now you'll end up doing it a lot and it'll you know, take a lot more time, but you can offer it to people. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked to give it a like, if you didn't give it a dislike, no matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you use this on any project, you know, share it with me over on the social medias, links for which are in the description below. Check out meestermedia.com slash products. We've got all sorts of great stuff. The Swiss Lutz pack is out and rocking and rolling. So if you want to do some, you know, crazy stuff, ooh, nice, subtle. It's, it's all sorts of good goodness, all sorts of goodness. This one will be fun. Nice. Look at that. That looks very Native American. What's I don't know what the correct PC term is, but insert PC term for Native American here. So anyway, I've been rambled on long enough. Uh, subscribe if I haven't already mentioned that or if you haven't already. Anyway, once again, I've been Theo with Meester Media. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>